has received some of 70 million eight hundred and eighty-two thousand and thirty-seven naira only. I wish to say that the necessary process for exclusion of the project and imposing. Conclusion Mr. Chairman and other members, we wish to thank you for your kind attention and support we have been receiving over the years. We pray that we will assist in the future of months, but the Commission will get your best as we present the 2021 project. Thank you very much. For the Chairman of the Commission, about the performance of 2020. Budget. I think uh, it is time to open the floor for members to make comments on the performance before we go on to the proposal for 2020 if the leader arrives. That's no performance analysis ever presented. On transport training, for April you said you spent 3.4 million. Uh, want to understand, in April, the country was under lockdown. Were you training people and traveling locally then? Page Just look at the page one. Page one. Page one, serial number two, three, and four. Sir, Honorable, the whole page one is on personnel cost. I'm glad to... No, Director, Director, yes. look at the performance you are presenting. Okay. It's one of our capital projects, it's not new, it's been a line for us annually. This line is uh, paid before you to appropriate for seminars, uh, discourses, and uh, according to the zones to enlighten people about our functions, to carry them along, educate them, so that we can achieve our goals. It's a capital project. You see, as in director, yes, sir. the question is, the item two, three, four, is all ongoing project. The appropriated money is there, the amount released is there. Three billion, five hundred and seventy-one million, seven hundred twenty-seven thousand nine hundred and seventy-three naira only. Please see page two to five of the project. Pages two to five. The breakdown of the proposed budget is as follows: personnel cost. Personnel cost budget of the commission for the year 2021 is two billion. And it's the eight million six hundred and sixteen thousand five hundred and fifty nine naira only. The estimate is for the payment of salaries, allowances of the second chairman, and thirty seven honorary members, the secretary of the commission, and one thousand one hundred and ninety five staff. Please see pages six to forty seven of the budget booklet. Over headquarters. Based on these assessments, the Commission submitted a proposal of 873 million nine hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and seventy one seventy seventy naira forty six Kobo only as overhead for the year 2021. However, the sum of 472 million. 635,538 Naira 888 Kobo was approved. This is 54% of our budgeted needs. However, members must be reminded of the provision in terms of the spread and coverage, especially with the social economic and infrastructural mandate now in place. This amount is still Please see pages 48 to 51 of the booklet. Capital project for 2021. 
year 2021, the Commission would wish to count on the support of these hallowed chambers to secure appropriation for a number of projects that are integrated finance, budget and planning finance. Son of 410 million, 475,876 naira only in the year 2021. Estimate for our proposed project and listed at page 52 of the budget. The highlights of the project are presented In consideration of its ongoing state office construction, the sum of 130 and 30 million naira only is proposed for the completion of ongoing FCC state office at Calaba, as well as the completion of one FCC office at Kaduna. General renovation of headquarters and state FCC offices. The sum of 99 million. and general renovation of two FCC state offices at Adamawa and Oslo states. Inspection and evaluation of projects and programs executed by MGAs. The present share was directly given to the new commissioners as their integration is paramount. The commission will embark on inspection and evaluation of projects and programs executed by all MGAs. Sum of 110 million naira is being marked by the purchase of both private and six city vehicles, Corolla Sector, 2.0 liters fabric, expectation and public enlightenment, social economic amenities, and infrastructural facilities. Of its mandate, which is to promote fairness, community of purpose for all especially in the allocation of human and material resources. In this regard, the Commission intends to hold a discourse at Latvia Natural State to examine issues of diversity and the distribution of resources to build national integration and unity. The sum of 12 million. 720,000 Naira only is proposed for this exercise. Places like security that can put purchase of vehicle in budget. Want to know because of the rush for the... The commission is also very essential to have this cars. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Open your mic, please. Uh, the Chairman of the Character Commission did make a statement about the need to generate more public awareness about what the commission is all about. But in looking at the projects they've outlined, they talked about a discourse in Lafayette, billboards, television, journeys. I would want to encourage you to look at other ways of engaging the majority of young people in this country. Not billboards, radios, and this. I mean, the emphasis people did not use billboards. Neither did they use radio jingles or televisions. So I know you are capable of doing that. It means that I'm saying go below the traditional means of communication and reach the majority. They are the ones that don't know about you. Our generation will not have a Federal Character Commission. We may say it's not been effective. Not because of you, but because every MDA in this country, including private sector, deliberately set out to subvert the federal character principle. We've been here. I'm not sure we've ever seen one agency that did not subvert it. So please just pay attention to that. The, what you have here is good, but go beneath it and see ways in which young people communicate to hundreds of millions in one day. Thank you, Prof. Yes. And I want to just 
I refer the Honorable Chairman to page 48. Line item number one and two. 48. And um, repeated here, local training. I actually don't know what the differences are, but again, why are you prepared to answer that? Um, fourth from bottom, Servicom, anti-corruption, monitoring and activities and follow-up. This is like a follow-up to what um, the question asked by Prof. What I would just want to add, we have adopted your 2020 uh, budget performance. And in there, you mentioned one on page one, provision of virtual private network, VPN, linking state offices. I would have thought with all this, you would not need to travel a whole lot. Because you'll be doing most things virtually. So I'm still surprised that I see a whole lot of money budgeted for local travels and training. So please, can you help us reconcile this? And uh, we complete it by next year, so that it can now, we can now start Kaduna State. But we don't have, they are all new. But since we don't have money, and they constrain us, that's why we have to put it like that, for the two. But Madam, do you have the cost implication of the two projects? The total cost of the two projects? We'll make it available for you. Answer the next question, please. The, next, the local travels and tours. Every month, all our commissioners, they have to go back to their respective states. That's the first week of every month. They have to meet up with all the MDs in their respective states. Mm -hmm. So it's part of their constitution. They have to be there every month. The first week of every month or the last week of the month. So they spend three weeks in Abuja and they spend a week in their respective states. Adamawa and Enu, only to just cancel this Enu as an afterthought. And I'm a member of this committee. And uh, somehow we have a relationship with that character. It's so inelegant for you to present this into a, a, a committee in the parliament. I can't see this in after making a speech. So the removal and the Enugu that's a part of the renovation exercise just came as an afterthought. Or how do you explain it? Certainly. And they're supposed to yeah. do they made mistake, is it? It's a mistake for the Yeah. Enugu has been taken care of. It's supposed to be Ondo. It was a mistake. Last Six months, did you do any recruitment? You see, uh, you make a presentation, proposal for 2021, of which the committee will sit down after you have gone to deliberate and make it is a final decision on it. Besides this, do you have any say in mind that you want to add in the budget which you could not be able to do that? The uh, implementation of the second mandate of the, of the commission. Yes. But uh, we are not even looking at the building for this year. But at least the training school, because we have 37 commissioners. And we have to move anywhere for any meeting. It's expensive. But we have a, a, a land given to us by the SCDA, which we want to make. But because there's no money, so we left it. And second mandate, we don't have money for it. Win about. Is that not part of your second mandate? Because, um, it's part of it that the 37 commissioners and they've never had and the staff and they've never had it like this. I think this is the first time we have 37 mm. and with, uh, with, uh, with staff that will go along with them. It has not been very easy. Right now, they are even using their money, which you have to pay them back if possible. That's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, turn off, um, is it some of these things are new and you met them there? But is the desire of this committee to see the second arm of your responsibility, you know, carried out, not just for job distribution of job in an equitable pattern, projects 
in the country, infrastructure in the country. It's also part of your mandate. And um, when you meet privately with uh, the chairman, maybe to discuss or consult, please, let's find a way of making that second arm of your function very active. At the moment, Nigerians feel that the distribution of infrastructure is lopsided. It's not equitably distributed across the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it is the responsibility of this office to ensure that anybody who is positioning any project, any part of the country, that you also get, they get clearance from you, you know, to know whether that place is saturated and there are some areas that need attention. It is the responsibility of your office, Mr. Chairman, and Madam Chairman. And um, I think with the permission of, with the assistance of this committee, hopefully you are going to be able to achieve that second mandate that Nigerians are, are you know, expecting you to fulfill. I want to help you to have more funds to run the affairs of the commission. We are equally concerned about some of the items of the budget that uh, there are other not even explained very well to the uh, satisfaction of the committee or they have not even explained at all. In your proposal of this 2021 budget, you make a provision for financial consulting. You make a provision for sporting activities, of which I, I, I don't know the relationship between these two items and the commission. We, we have, the, the, there's, there's what they call the public servant scheme. It's a service-wide provision, normally. So it is provided for almost... The committee rights. will decide whether it is applicable or not. Absolutely but, necessary for our junior staff, particularly those from level 8 to, to 12. Maybe the committee so will go on our side to inspect those facilities. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, I wish to assure the commission that the committee will sit down and they deliberate extensively on the present uh, of the proposal of the commission. Wherever necessary, the committee will be of help to the commission, inshallah. Sir, we don't have money in that commission. And for us to function very well, we need money. For the first mandate is on, and the second mandate, we don't even have money for them. They have to go out. And to have these 37 commissioners to go around is not easy. Please, sir, I need you to assist me and assist everybody. Please. So that we can work on our second mandate. Well, um, just let me just brief you a little bit. The job of the commission is to be fair and equitable to all Nigeria and make sure that they do the right thing. Now, what I mean by the right thing is our first mandate and the second mandate. That's infrastructure, social amenities all over Nigeria. I make sure that it's not lopsided. So also the issue of um, employment is also lopsided. We are fair to all Nigerians. That's 36 plus SCDA.